I'm going to be showing you the locations of all the minikits and how to do all the challenges in the Droid Factory Frenzy level of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga's Attack of the Clones. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so after you get past the first part of the level where you have to shoot the Geonosians, you're going to drop down here to a conveyor belt. It's going to be a bunch of these smashers. The first smasher, we're just going to jump on top of it, and that will give us access to minikit number one. So for challenge number one, we're going to continue down here to the last smasher. We're going to jump on top of it just like we did for the first mini kit. And if you jump up here, there's going to be a secret zipline shortcut, and that will uh, give you challenge number one. All you have to do is jump on that, and it should unlock about halfway through the zipline. So now for mini kit number two, we're going to go back a little bit. This is back where that uh, last smasher was, where the shortcut was. We're going to turn around. And here is a gold Lego object on this ladder. We're going to shoot that with a bounty hunter character. And we're going to blow that up, and that will give us access to this ladder, which we can climb up and reach mini kit number two at the back end here of this conveyor belt. So mini kit number three, we're going to take control of the droids like you do in the story mode, which will lead you down onto this conveyor belt. And there's going to be some droids kind of cycling above here. And if you pay attention, one of them is going to have a mini kit on it, so just shoot the target and uh, with a blaster character, and you will get mini kit number three. That does repeat, so if you miss it, it will come back around again, so just wait a second, you'll be able to get that. So once you reach this area where you have a protocol droid panel, there's going to be a painting over here, and the painting is going to cycle between a few different things. Wait till it has a mini kit on it, destroy it, and then that will give you a buildable mini kit number four. So mini kit number five, once you get this cutscene of some of the shields going down, uh, switch to the droid characters down here, and there's going to be a gap that you can jump here with a silver Lego object. So switch to a villain character, which you can throw a grenade to blow up that silver Lego object give you access to this secret area back here. Switch to a grapple character like a hero or an astromech droid and grapple that and you will get mini kit number five. So we still have two challenges left. So switch back to your other characters and there's going to be a whole bunch of Geonosians and droids. So mind control one of the Geonosians with a Jedi character and just attack another Geonosian with them and that will give you the second challenge of attacking a Geonosian with another Geonosian. Um, so at the end of the level when you have to save Padme you're going to want to save her within 30 seconds to get this last challenge. So as soon as you get the cutscene, switch to an astromech droid and go all the way down here. Just follow the objective, grapple up, and uh, make sure you solve this puzzle here fast enough. It shouldn't be too hard to do it in 30 seconds. And once you rescue her, that should give you the last challenge. So, so that's all three challenges and where to find all five mini kits in the Droid Factory Frenzy level of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga's Attack of the Clones. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.